Now students, fourth chapter is Applications of Definite Integration and this chapter is for 8 marks and the first point is Area under a curve Now students, suppose this is x-axis this is y-axis and suppose this is a curve whose equation is y is equal to f of x this is a line whose equation is x is equal to a this is a line whose equation is x is equal to b and we have to find the area enclosed by this curve x-axis and the lines x is equal to a and x is equal to b it means we have to find this area then the formula for this area a will be area a is equal to integration from a to b y dx so a is equal to integration from a to b so y means f of x so here i can write f of x dx so this is the formula for finding area now student we'll take another example suppose this is x-axis this is y-axis and this is a curve whose equation is y is equal to f of x this is a line whose equation is x is equal to a and this is a line whose equation is x is equal to b and we have to find the area enclosed by this curve x-axis and the lines x is equal to a and x is equal to b it means we have to find this much of area now student just keep in your mind that the area below x-axis is negative but area is never negative so for finding this area the formula will be area a is equal to mod integration from a to b y dx so is equal to modulus integration from a to b y means f of x so here it is f of x dx so by using this formula even if the answer is negative when we take out that answer outside this mod sign it becomes positive so area will become positive now soon we'll take another example suppose this is x-axis this is y-axis and this is a curve whose equation is x is equal to f of y this is a line whose equation is y is equal to d and this is a line whose equation is y is equal to c and we have to find the area enclosed by this curve y-axis and the lines y is equal to c and y is equal to d it means we have to find this much of area so the formula for this area a will be area a is equal to integration now student from c to d from c to d x dy so is equal to integration from c to d now student x means f of y so here it is f of y dy so this is the formula for finding area a for this curve find the area bounded by the curve y is equal to x cube comma x axis and the ordinates x is equal to 1 comma x is equal to 3 in solution given y is equal to x cube comma the first value of x is a so a is equal to 1 and second value of x is b so b is equal to 3 and the formula for area a is area a is equal to integration from a to b y dx so is equal to integration from 1 to 3 y is 
x cube so here it is x cube dx so is equal to and also here we can use the formula of x raised to n and the formula for x raised to n is integration x raised to n dx is equal to x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus c here n is 3 so as per this formula here I can write x raised to 4 upon 4 and the limits are from 1 to 3 so is equal to also I'm writing this 4 outside this bracket so I'll get 1 upon 4 in square bracket for this x first we have to write the upper limit that is 3 so I'll get 3 raised to 4 minus for this x now we have to put the lower limit that is 1 so I'll get 1 rest to 4 so is equal to this 1 upon 4 here as it is in square bracket 3 rest to 4 is 81 minus 1 rest to 4 is 1 so is equal to 81 minus 1 is 80 upon this 4 so is equal to 80 upon 4 is 20 square units and this is the value of area A and this is the final answer. Find the area bounded by the curve y is equal to x square comma x axis and the ordinates x is equal to 0 comma x is equal to 3. In solution given y is equal to x square comma first value of x is a so a is equal to 0 and second value of x is b so b is equal to 3 and the formula for area a is integration from a to b y dx so is equal to integration from 0 to 3 y is x square dx so is equal to also here we can use the formula of x raised to n and the formula for x raised to n is x raised to n dx is equal to x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus c here n is 2 so as per this formula here I can write x cube by 3 and the limits are from 0 to 3 so is equal to I'm writing this 3 outside this bracket so I'll get 1 upon 3 in square bracket for this x first we have to write the upper limit that is 3 so I'll get 3 cube minus then we have to write the lower limit for this x so I'll get 0 cube so is equal to this 1 upon 3 here as it is in square bracket 3 cube is 27 minus 0 cube is 0 so is equal to 27 minus 0 is 27 upon this 3 and 27 upon 3 is 9 square units so this is the value of area A and this is your final answer find the area bounded by the curve y is equal to 2x comma x axis and the ordinates x is equal to 1 comma x is equal to 3 in solution given y is equal to 2x the first value of x is a so a is equal to 1 and second value of x is b so b is equal to 3 and the formula for area a is integration from a to b y dx so is equal to integration from 1 to 3 y is 2x dx so is equal to also this 2 is constant so it has to get written outside the integration so i'll get 2 integration 1 to 3 x dx so is equal to this 2 here as it is now shown here the power of x is 1 so for this integration we can use the formula of x raised to n and the formula is integration x raised to n dx is equal to x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus c 
here n is 1 so as per this formula here I can write in square bracket x square upon 2 and the limits are from 1 to 3 so is equal to this one here this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled and for this x first we would write the upper limit then we have to write the lower limit so I'll get 3 square minus 1 square so is equal to 3 square is 9 minus 1 square is 1 so is equal to 9 minus 1 is 8 square units so this is the value of area A and this is the final answer find the area bounded by the curve y is equal to 1 plus 2 sin square x comma x axis and the lines x is equal to 0 comma x is equal to pi in solution given y is equal to 1 plus 2 sin square x the first value of x is a so a is equal to 0 and the second value of x is b so b is equal to pi and the formula for area a is integration from a to b y dx so is equal to integration from 0 to pi in square bracket y is 1 plus 2 sin square x so here it is 1 plus 2 sin square x dx so is equal to integration from 0 to pi in round bracket this 1 plus here as it is and also we are having one formula that 1 minus cos 2 theta is equal to 2 sin square theta so as per this formula for this 2 sin square x I can write 1 minus cos 2x dx so is equal to integration from 0 to pi in round bracket 1 plus 1 is 2 minus this cos 2x dx so is equal to this one here I can give this integration separately to both of these two terms this one here this 2 is constant so it has to get written outside the integration so I'll get 2 integration 0 to pi 1 dx minus this minus sign integration from 0 to pi cos 2x dx so is equal to this 2 here as it is integration 1 dx is x the limits are from 0 to pi minus also integration cos 2x dx will be sin 2x upon the coefficient of x that is 2 and the limits are from 0 to pi so is equal to this 2 here as it is in square bracket for this x first we would write the upper limit that is pi so pi minus then we have to write the lower limit that is 0 so here it is 0 minus I am writing this 2 outside this bracket so I will get 1 upon 2 in square bracket for this x first I am writing the upper limit that is pi so I will get sin 2 pi minus for this x then we have to write the lower limit that is 0 so I will get sin 0 so is equal to here pi minus 0 is pi and pi into 2 is 2 pi minus this one upon 2 in square bracket now so the value of sin 2 pi is 0 minus sin 0 is also 0 so here 0 minus 0 will be 0 and 0 into 1 by 2 will be 0 so this term will become 0 so I'll get 2 pi square units so this is the value of a and this is your final answer
find the area bounded by the curve y is equal to sin x comma x axis and the lines x is equal to 0 comma x is equal to pi in solution given y is equal to sin x comma the first value of x is a so a is equal to 0 and the second value of x is b so b is equal to pi and the formula for area a is integration from a to b y dx so is equal to integration from 0 to pi y is sin x dx so is equal to now so we know that integration sin x dx is minus cos x and the limits are from 0 to pi so is equal to I am writing this minus sign outside this bracket so I will get minus in bracket for this x first we have to write the upper limit then minus we have to write the lower limit so I will get cos pi minus cos 0 so is equal to this minus sign here as it is in square bracket the value of cos pi is minus 1 minus the value of cos 0 is 1 so is equal to this minus sign here as it is in square bracket minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 so is equal to here minus into minus will become plus so I'll get 2 square units so this is the value of a and this is your final answer find the area bounded by the curve y is equal to sin x comma x axis and the lines x is equal to 0 comma x is equal to 2 pi in solution given y is equal to sin x now student the curve for sin x is like this at this point there is 0 radian at this point pi by 2 radian at this point pi radian at this point 3 pi by 2 radian and at this point there is 2 pi radian and we have to find area from 0 to 2 pi now shown here in this figure this much of area is positive and this area is negative and if you find total area from 0 to 2 pi then that area will become 0 but that area is not 0 so what we will do we will find this much of area that is a1 and then we will multiply this a1 by 2 to get the total area a and for finding a1 the limits will be from 0 to pi that is the value of a will be 0 and the value of b will be pi therefore a is equal to 0 and b is equal to pi and the formula for finding a1 will be integration from a to b y dx so is equal to integration from 0 to pi y is sin x dx so is equal to now should we know that integration sin x dx is minus cos x and the limits are from 0 to pi so is equal to I am writing this minus sign outside this bracket so I will get minus in bracket for this x first we have to write the upper limit that is pi minus then we have to write the lower limit that is 0 so I will get cos pi minus cos 0 so is equal to this minus sign here as it is the value of cos pi is minus 1 minus the value of cos 0 is 1 so is equal to this minus sign here as it is in square bracket minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 so is equal to here soon minus into minus will become plus so I'll get 2 square units so this is the value of a1 but soon we have to find the total area a so now 
टोटल एरिया ए इज इक्वल टू टू इन टू ए वन सो इज इक्वल टू टू इन टू द वैल्यू ऑफ ए वन इज टू सो इज इक्वल टू टू इंटू टू इज फोर स्क्वेयर यूनिट्स सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ ए दैट इज द टोटल एरिया एंड दिस इज द फाइनल आंसर find the area bounded by the curve y is equal to sin x comma x axis and the lines x is equal to pi by 6 comma x is equal to pi by 3 in solution given y is equal to sin x now so the curve for sin x is like this up to this point there is 2 pi radian up to this point there is pi radian now when pi means 180 degree so pi by 6 will be 30 degree and pi by 3 will be 60 degree so here it will be pi by 6 and here somewhere it will be pi by 3 and we have to find this much of area So for finding this much of area the value of a will be pi by 6 the value of b will be pi by 3 therefore a is equal to pi by 6 and b is equal to pi by 3 and for finding this area the formula will be a is equal to integration from a to b y dx So is equal to integration from pi by 6 to pi by 3. Y is sine x dx. So is equal to. Now, so we know that integration sine x dx is minus cos x, and the limits are from pi by 6 to pi by 3. So is equal to. I'm writing this minus sign outside this bracket, so I'll get minus in bracket. For this x, first we have to write the upper limit that is pi by three minus. Then we have to write the lower limit that is pi by six. So I'll get cos pi by three minus cos pi by six. So is equal to this minus sign here as it is in square bracket. Now, so cos pi by three, that is cos sixty, is one by two. Minus cos pi by six, that is cos thirty, is root three by two. So is equal to this minus sign here as it is in square bracket. Now, so here both are having the same denominator. So here I can write one minus root three upon two. So is equal to Now, so if I multiply by this minus sign inside this bracket, this plus one will become minus one, and this minus root three will become plus root three. So here I can write root three minus one upon two square units. So this is the value of a, and this is your final answer. Find the area bounded by the curve y is equal to one plus x cube plus two sine x comma x axis and the lines x is equal to zero comma x is equal to pi. In solution, given y is equal to one plus x cube plus two sine x. Now, so the first value of x. Is a and the second value of x is b. So a is equal to zero and b is equal to pi. And the formula for a is integration from a to b y dx. So is equal to integration. Now, so a is zero, b is pi, and the y is one plus x cube plus 2 sin x 
dx so is equal to so I'll give this integration separately to all these three terms by taking out constant so here I can write integration from 0 to pi 1 dx plus integration from 0 to pi x cube dx plus this 2 is constant so it has to get written outside the integration so here I'll get 2 integration 0 to pi sin x dx so is equal to now so we know that integration 1 dx is x and the limits are from 0 to pi plus now so integration x cube dx will be x raised to 4 upon 4 and the limits are from 0 to pi plus this 2 here as it is and we know that integration sin x dx is minus cos x and the limits are from 0 to pi so is equal to in square bracket for this x first we have to write the upper limit that is pi minus then we have to write the lower limit that is 0 so I'll get pi minus 0 plus I'm writing this 4 outside the bracket so I'll get 1 by 4 in square bracket for this x first I'm writing the upper limit that is pi minus then I'm writing lower limit that is 0 so I'll get pi rest to 4 minus 0 rest to 4 now so here plus into minus is minus this 2 here as it is in square bracket for this x first we have to write pi and then we have to write 0 so I'll get cos pi minus cos 0 so is equal to pi minus 0 is pi plus this one here pi raised to 4 is pi raised to 4 minus 0 raised to 4 is 0 and pi raised to 4 minus 0 will be pi raised to 4 so here I'll get pi raised to 4 upon 4 minus this 2 in square bracket now so the value of cos pi is minus 1 minus the value of cos 0 is 1 so is equal to this pi plus pi raised to 4 upon 4 as it is here now so in this bracket minus 1 minus 1 will become minus 2 and minus 2 into minus 2 is plus 4 so this is the value of a square units and this is your final answer Find the area bounded by the parabola y square is equal to 4ax and its lattice rectum. In solution given y square is equal to 4ax. This is the equation of a parabola. From this equation y is equal to 2 root a into root x so y is equal to 2 into also root a means a raised to half into root x means x raised to half so this is the equation for y and also we will draw the curve for this parabola suppose this is a parabola whose equation is y square is equal to 4ax and this is its focal point s whose coordinates are a comma 0 and this line is called as lattice rectum lattice rectum now so if I draw a parabola like this then its equation will be y square is equal to minus 4ax and the coordinates of its focal point will be minus a comma 0 and this line is called as lattice rectum and now student if I draw a parabola like this then its equation will be x square is equal to 4by and the coordinates of its focal point will be 0, b 
and this line is called as its lattice rectum. If I draw a parabola like this, then its equation will be x square is equal to minus 4by and the coordinates of its focal point will be 0 comma minus b and this line is called its lattice rectum. Now spending our sum, the equation of parabola is y square is equal to 4ax then its curve will be like this. This is a parabola whose equation is y square is equal to 4ax. This is its focal point S whose coordinates are a comma 0 and this line is called as its lattice rectum and we have to find this much of area. Now student, this point is origin whose coordinates are 0 comma 0 and if you find this total area then this total area will become 0 because this much of area is positive and this much of area is negative so what we will do we will find only this much of area and we will denote this area by a1 so first we will find a1 and then if i multiply this a1 by 2 I'll get total area A and for finding A1 the lower limit will be 0 and the upper limit will be A. So the formula for A1 is A1 is equal to integration from A to B y dx so is equal to integration also lower limit is 0 and upper limit is A and y is 2 a raised to half into x raised to half dx so is equal to now from here both of these two terms are constant so they has to get written outside the integration so I'll get 2 a raised to half integration from 0 to a x raised to half dx so is equal to this 2 into a raised to half as it is into in square bracket. Now students as per the formula of x raised to n integration x raised to half dx will be x raised to 3 by 2 upon 3 by 2 and the limits are from 0 to a. So is equal to now so I'll write this 3 by 2 outside this bracket and if this 3 by 2 goes up it becomes 2 by 3 so 2 into 2 will become 4 upon 3 this a raised to half in square bracket for this x first we have to put the upper limit that is a so I'll get a raised to 3 by 2 minus then we have to put 0 for this x so I'll get 0 raised to 3 by 2 So is equal to this 4 by 3 here as it is. Now so in this bracket I'll get a raised to 3 by 2 and a raised to 3 by 2 into a raised to half will be a square. So this is a1 and now we have to find a. So now total area a is equal to 2 into a1. So is equal to 2 into a1 is 4 by 3 a square so a is equal to 2 into 4 is 8 upon this 3 a square square units and this is your final answer find the area bounded by the curve y is equal to 4x minus x square and the x-axis in solution given y is equal to 4x minus x square now so in this example the values of x are not given 
So for finding the values of x, we have to put y is equal to 0. So put y is equal to 0. So I'll get 0 is equal to 4x minus x square. So 0 is equal to, from these two terms, we can take out x as common. So in bracket, I'll get 4 minus x. And now from this, you'll get two equations. First is x is equal to 0. And second equation will be 4 minus x is equal to 0. So from this, I'll get x is equal to 4. And now students, we are having two values of x. x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 4. So the first value is a and second value is b. Therefore, a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 4. And now students, we can find the area. And the formula for area a is integration from a to b y dx. So is equal to integration, the value of a is 0, value of b is 4, and y is 4x minus x square. So is equal to, and now shown here, I can give this integration separately to both of these two terms by taking out constant. This 4 is constant, so it has to get written outside the integration. So I'll get 4 integration from 0 to 4 x dx minus integration 0 to 4 x square dx so is equal to this 4 here as it is as should we know that integration x dx will be x square by 2 and the limits are from 0 to 4 minus this minus sign so integration x square dx will be x cube by 3 and the limits are from 0 to 4. So is equal to, now shown here, 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4. So I'll get 2 into bracket. For this x, first we have to write the upper limit that is 4. So I'll get 4 square minus, for this x, now we have to put the lower limit that is 0. So I'll get 0 square minus, I'm writing this 3 outside the bracket, so I'll get 1 by 3 in square bracket. For this x, first we have to write the upper limit, so I'll get 4 cube minus, then we have to write the lower limit, that is 0 cube. So is equal to, what's shown here, 4 square is 16, and 16 minus 0 square is 0, so 16 minus 0 is 16, and 16 into 2 is 32. Minus, here, 4 cube is 64, 0 cube is 0, and 64 minus 0 is 64. So here I'll get 64 upon 3. So is equal to, now shown here, the LCM of these two terms will be 3. We have to multiply this 32 by this 3. So 32 into 3 will be 96 minus the 64 upon LCM is 3. So A is equal to, now, so 96 minus 64 is 32 upon 3 square units. So this is your final answer. Find the area bounded by the curve y is equal to 4 minus x square and the x-axis. So in solution, given y is equal to 4 minus x square. Now so here, the values of x are not given. So for finding the values of x, we have to put y is equal to 0. So put y is equal to 0. So I'll get 0 is equal to 4 minus x square. If this minus x square comes on this side, it becomes plus x square. So I'll get x square is equal to 4. So x is equal to, I'll get, plus or minus 2. It means that we are having two values of x, minus 2 and plus 2. Therefore, a is equal to minus 2 and b is equal to plus 2. And now we can find the area. So now, area a is given by integration 
from a to b y dx so is equal to integration from minus 2 to plus 2 y is 4 minus x square 4 minus x square dx so is equal to also if you see here these limits are in the form minus a to plus a so here we have to use the last property of definite integration and in that property first we have to check whether this function is even or odd and also if you see here this function is even and if this function is even we can write here 2 integration 0 to 2 in bracket 4 minus x square dx so is equal to so this 2 here as it is in square bracket so shown here I can give this integration separately to both of these two terms by taking out constant this 4 is constant so it has to get written outside the integration so here it is 4 integration 0 to 2 1 dx minus integration 0 to 2 x square dx So is equal to this 2 here as it is in square bracket this 4 now so we know that integration 1 dx is x and the limits are from 0 to 2 minus integration x square dx is x cube by 3 and the limits are from 0 to 2 so is equal to this 2 here as it is in square bracket this 4 and now shown here for this x first we will write the upper limit that is 2 minus then we will write the lower limit that is 0 minus I am writing this 3 outside this bracket so I will get 1 by 3 in square bracket for this x first we will write the upper limit so I will get 2 cube minus then we will write the lower limit for this x so I will get 0 cube So is equal to this 2 here as it is in square bracket. Now from here 2 minus 0 is 2 and 2 into 4 is 8. Minus here 2 cube is 8 minus 0 cube is 0 and 8 minus 0 is 8. So I'll get 8 by 3. So is equal to this 2 here as it is in square bracket. Now from here the LCM of these two terms will be 3. We have to multiply this 8 by this 3. So I'll get 8 into 3 is 24 minus this 8 upon LCM is 3. So is equal to now so 24 minus 8 is 16 and 16 upon 3 into 2 will be 32 upon 3 and this is the value of a square units and this is your final answer find by integration the area of the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square in solution given x square plus y square is equal to a square if this x square comes on this side it becomes minus x square so I can write y square is equal to a square minus x square therefore y is equal to root a square minus x square so this is the equation for y also this is the equation of a standard circle and the standard circle is like this this is a standard circle whose center is at origin and whose radius is a therefore the coordinates of this point will be a comma zero and we have to find the total area of this circle so for that first we will find this much of area and we will denote this area by a1 so first we will find a1 if I multiply this a1 by 4, I'll get total area a. And for finding a1, the lower limit will be 0 and the upper limit will be a. 
so now we will find a1 and the formula for a1 will be integration from a to b y dx so is equal to integration also lower limit is 0 so here it is 0 upper limit is a so here it is a and y is under root a square minus x square so is equal to also for this integration we are having standard formula and that standard formula is like this it is x by 2 under root a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sine inverse x by a and the limits are from 0 to a so is equal to in square bracket also for these x first we have to put the upper limit that is a so I'll get a by 2 under root a square minus a square plus a square by 2 sin inverse a by a minus also for these x we have to put the lower limit that is 0 so I'll get 0 by 2 root a square minus 0 square plus a square by 2 sin inverse 0 by a square bracket complete so is equal to in square bracket as shown here this term will become 0 plus this a square by 2 here as it is here I'll get sin inverse of 1 minus this one 0 by 2 is 0 and 0 into anything is 0 plus sin inverse of 0 is 0 so 0 into anything is 0 so is equal to this one here in this term this a square by 2 and we know that sine inverse of 1 is pi by 2 so a1 is equal to pi a square by 4 so this is a1 and now we can find the total area a so now total area A is equal to 4 into A1 so is equal to 4 into A1 is pi A square by 4 now from this 4 and this 4 will get cancelled so I will get A is equal to pi A square square units and this is your final answer Find by integration the area of the circle x square plus y square is equal to 25. In solution given x square plus y square is equal to 25. If this x square comes on this side it becomes minus x square. So I can write y square is equal to 25 minus x square therefore y is equal to under root 25 minus x square so this is the equation for y also this is the equation of standard circle and this standard circle will look like this this is the standard circle whose center is at origin and whose radius is in this case 5 Therefore, the coordinates of this point will be 5, 0 and we have to find this total area. So for finding the total area, first we will find this much of area and we will denote this much of area by a1. And if I multiply this a1 by 4, I will get total area a and for finding a1, 
the lower limit will be 0 and the upper limit will be 5. So first we will find a1 and now the formula for a1 is a1 is equal to integration from a to b y dx. So is equal to integration. Now so lower limit is 0, upper limit is 5 and y is under root 25 minus x square dx. So is equal to in square bracket. Now so here for this integration we can use this standard formula that is integration under root a square minus x square dx is equal to x by 2 under root a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sin inverse x by a. So as per this formula in our sum the value of a is 5. So as per this formula here I can write x by 2 under root 25 minus x square plus a square that is 25 by 2 sin inverse x by a a is 5 and the limits are from 0 to 5 so is equal to in square bracket also for these x, first we have to put the upper limit that is 5. So I will get 5 by 2 under root 25 minus 5 square is 25 plus 25 by 2 sin inverse x is 5 upon 5 minus also for these x we have to put the lower limit that is 0 so I can write 0 by 2 root 25 minus 0 square plus 25 by 2 sin inverse 0 by 5 square bracket complete so is equal to in square bracket in round bracket now so this term will become 0 plus this 25 by 2 here as it is here I'll get sine inverse of 1 minus now so this term will become 0 plus here sine inverse of 0 is 0 so this term will also become 0 So is equal to what's one here in this term this 25 by 2 into sine inverse of 1 is pi by 2 so a1 is equal to 25 pi upon 4 so this is the value of a1 and now we can find total area a so total area A is equal to 4 into A1. So is equal to 4 into A1 is 25 pi upon 4. Now so here this 4 and this 4 will get cancelled. So I'll get A is equal to 25 pi. And this is your final answer. Find by integration the area of the ellipse x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1. In solution given x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1. If this term goes on the side it becomes minus. So we can write y square upon b square is equal to 1 minus x square upon a square. This y square upon b square here as it is is equal to 
the LCM of these two terms will be a square. We have to multiply this one by this a square. So I'll get a square minus x square upon a square. Also this b square will go up here. So I'll get y square is equal to b square upon a square into bracket a square minus x square. And also from this y will be b upon a under root a square minus x square. So this is the equation for y. Now soon, this is the equation of standard ellipse. And the standard ellipse look like this. This is the standard ellipse whose center is at origin. The coordinates of this point are a comma zero. The coordinates of this point are minus a comma zero. The coordinates of this point are 0 comma b and the coordinates of this point are 0 comma minus b. This axis is called as major axis and this axis is called as minor axis and we have to find the total area of this ellipse. So for that we will find this much of area and we will denote this area by a1. So first we will find a1 and if I multiply this a1 by 4 I will get total area a and for finding area a1 the lower limit will be 0 and the upper limit will be a so now we'll find the area a1 so the formula for a1 is a1 is equal to integration from a to b y dx so is equal to integration now so the lower limit is 0 and the upper limit is a and y is b upon a under root a square minus x square so here it is b upon a under root a square minus x square dx so is equal to also this b by a is constant so it has to get written outside the integration so I'll get b by a integration under root a square minus x square dx so is equal to this b by a here as it is in square bracket also for this integration the limits are from 0 to a for this integration we are having the standard formula and as per that standard formula for this integration I can write x by 2 under root a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sine inverse x by a and the limits are from 0 to a so is equal to b by a in bracket which one for these x first we have to put the upper limit a then minus for these x we have to put the lower limit 0 and this already we have solved in the last sum. So the answer of this bracket is pi a square by 4. Just refer to the last sum. So a1 is equal to. Now so this a and one of this a will get cancelled. So I'll get pi a b upon 4. So this is a1. And now soon we can find the total area A. So total area A is equal to 4 into A1. So is equal to 4 into A1 is pi AB upon 4. And now soon here this 4 and this 4 will get cancelled. So I'll get A is equal to pi AB square units. And this is the final answer.